What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Saturday, June 18th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game slate today. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. Okay, so Justin Verlander's on the slate. I always like him when he's pitching. Although I don't love this uh, pitcher versus team history. The White Sox have hit 20 of his last 72 pitches. That's a 278 batting average. Not ideal for the most expensive pitcher on the slate, but of course, Justin Verlander can put up 40 plus fantasy points. He's averaging 42 fantasy points per game on the season, has an ERA of 1.95, record is eight and two, pitching an average of 94 pitches per game. So I do think there's a better option here tonight, but he's certainly in play. So I like Justin Verlander here versus the Chicago White Sox. But the stud that I like the most here tonight is Aaron Nola. And he's pitching against the low salary batting team, the Washington Nationals. Aaron Nola only giving up a .449 OPS versus switch hitters. Facing three switch hitters here today. And I like this pick because the Nationals have only hit 12 of his last 67 pitches. That's a 179 batting average and a pretty decent sample size. He's 10,200 FanDuel salary, 100 less on DraftKings, averaging 37 fantasy points per game on the season. He has an ERA of 3.42. Record is 4-4, four and four, pitching an average of 95 pitches per game. So I like Aaron Nola here versus the Washington Nationals. Now if you want to save some salary at the pitcher position, take a look at Jeffrey Springs. He's got an 11% pitching advantage here over a low salary batting team, the Baltimore Orioles. Jeffrey Springs only giving up a .581 OPS versus righties and a .439 OPS versus switch hitters. He's facing seven righties and two switch hitters. And on top of that, the Orioles have only hit one of his last 21 pitches. It's a .048 batting average. Now, not a huge sample size there, but a great start. And he's only 8,700 FanDuel salary. 700 less on DraftKings. So he's averaging 19 fantasy points per game on the season, but he scored 37, 37, and 30 fantasy points in the last three games. He has an ERA of 1.45, record is three and two. Now he's only pitching an average of 47 pitches per game, but he has gone five to six innings in the last three games. So with the splits and the lower salary, I think this could be worth a shot here facing a low salary batting team, but certainly risky. If he only pitches like three innings, it's gonna be tough for him to rack up those fantasy points. So high risk, high reward, but I like the, the splits and the batter versus, pitcher, uh, batter versus pitcher history here, or pitcher versus batter history here for Jeffrey Springs versus the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Ty France, and he's batting against a low salary pitcher, Jose Sorez. Ty France is batting a .821 OPS versus lefties. Jose Sorez giving up a .774 OPS versus righties. Ty France is three for nine versus Sorez with a one OPS. One of those three hits is for a home run. He's 3,200 FanDuel salary, 1,400 more on DraftKings, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. 
and he scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games. He has a batting average of 320. So I like Ty France here versus Jose Sorez. Okay, everyone, it's time to announce the winner of our $25 weekly PayPal giveaway. And the winner is Devious Thomas. Devious Thomas, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's $25 PayPal giveaway. Please reply to our comment to collect your prize. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now I also like Salvador Perez. He has a 39% pitching advantage over Cole Irvin. And Salvador Perez is batting 30% better versus lefty pitchers batting a .960 OPS versus lefties. Cole Irvin pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a .745 OPS versus righties. Salvador Perez is two for three versus Irvin with a 2.334 OPS because one of those hits was a home run and he's 3,000 FanDuel salary, 1,800 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season and he scored fantasy points in four out of his last five games has a batting average of 214 so i like salvador perez here versus cole irvin okay let's take a look at the second base position i got a stud pick for you here i like jazz chisholm jr with a 49 percent batting advantage over tajon walker Jazz Chisholm Jr. batting 49% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .845 OPS versus righties. Tejon Walker pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, giving up a .690 OPS versus lefties. And Jazz Chisholm Jr. is 2 for 5 with a 1.425 OPS versus Walker. He's 4,100 FanDuel salary. 1,200 more on DraftKings, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 242. So I like Jazz Chisholm Jr. here versus Tejon Walker. Okay, now I also like Michael Chavez with a 49% batting advantage over Alex Wood. Michael Chavez is batting 30% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .842 OPS versus lefties. Alex Wood pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 19% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .732 OPS versus righties. Now there's no at-bats versus Wood yet, but I think this is a pretty decent value play because Michael Chavez is only 2,300 FanDuel salary, 600 more on DraftKings, averaging seven fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 257. So I like Michael Chavez here versus Alex Wood. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Yandy Diaz with a 25% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Kyle Bradish. Yandy Diaz is batting a .701 OPS versus righty pitchers. Kyle Bradish pitching his worst ball by far to righty batters. 39% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 1.156 OPS versus righties. Yandy Diaz is one for three versus Bradish. He's 2,900 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings, averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 269. 
So I like Yandy Diaz here versus Kyle Bradish. Now I also like Cabrian Hayes with a 38% batting advantage over Alex Wood. Cabrian Hayes batting 19% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .816 OPS versus lefties. Alex Wood pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 19% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .732 OPS versus righties. Cabrian Hayes is one for three versus Wood. That one hit was a double. He's 2,700 FanDuel salary, 1,400 more on DraftKings, averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. And he has a batting average of 272. So I like Cabrian Hayes here versus Alex Wood. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the shortstop position? Not much at this position that I liked, um, but there is a couple of decent options here. You got a value play here with Luis Urias who is only 2,600 FanDuel salary, 900 more on DraftKings. He's in a decent spot here versus Graham Ashcraft. Um, but the guy that I like the most at the shortstop position is Didi Gregorius. He's got a 41% batting advantage over Josiah Gray. Didi Gregorius batting 24% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .755 OPS versus righties. Josiah Gray pitching his worst ball versus lefty batters, 17% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .941 OPS versus lefties. Now, D.D. Gregorius is 0 for 2 versus Gray, but he's only 2,900 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings, averaging 8 fantasy points per game on the season. Now, he scored fantasy points in all five of his last games, and he has a batting average of 286. So I like Didi Gregorius here versus Josiah Gray. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. Couple of home run hitters that I like, Mike Trout and Jordan Alvarez. So let's take a look at Mike Trout. He's got a 30% batting advantage over Chris Flexen. Mike Trout is batting 14% better versus righty pitchers, batting a 1.110 OPS versus righties. Chris Flexen uh, pitching his worst ball versus righty batters, 16% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .812 OPS versus righties. Mike Trout is one for two versus Flexen. He's 4,400 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored fantasy points in all five of his last games, and he has a batting average of 289. So I like Mike Trout here versus Chris Flexen. Now I also like Michael Brantley with an 18% batting advantage over Johnny Cueto. Michael Brantley is batting 21% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .875 OPS versus righties. Johnny Cueto giving up a .733 OPS versus lefties. And Michael Brantley is three for 10 versus Cueto. He's 3,100 FanDuel salary, 1,700 more on DraftKings. He's averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season, and he's been on fire, scoring fantasy points in all five of his last games. And he has a batting average of 302. 
So I like Michael Brantley here versus Johnny Cueto. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.